cookiers, this is Celia Strickland, owner of Sweets from the Soul. In this tutorial, we will learn how to make an additional set of minis that can be packaged and given by simply using our heart-shaped cookie cutter that came with the So Sweet set. So let's take a look. I have baked four additional mini hearts, and in this tutorial, we're going to be using the wet-on-wet -wet technique that we used in our So Sweet cookie class. We begin by outlining our heart with the piping consistency in the light lavender. Then we will flood in the same way that we did the rest of the cookies. This flood consistency is about a 15 second consistency icing, so it settles in quite well by just uh, simply filling in the voids that are left with the uh, flood. Next, we're going to take the deep purple in the piping consistency and we're going to draw lines across our cookie. I started off the side of the cookie, pulling up over to the other side of the cookie. Now we're going to use our pink piping consistency icing and then another line of our dark purple consistency, uh, piping consistency icing. I use those because I don't want them spreading out in my flood consistency. Now we're simply going to drag our um, scribe through the wet icing, making a zigzag motion. Do you see the hearts that appear in our icing? I simply clean up the sides of, my, um, of the cookie and I'm finished. These cookies are quick and easy to make and are a great gift giving option for your students if you're a teacher or if you have children in school for their classmates and their teachers. All right, let's outline and flood our next cookie in pink using that flood consistency and letting it settle in until it forms a, a smooth surface. Next, we're going to grab our deep purple in the piping consistency and, can, and begin to make dots in our wet icing. These dots will not spread as much because it is in the piping consistency. And just like that, we have polka dots on our cookie. On our next cookie, we're going to use the deep purple to outline and flood once again. Always use your scribe to clean up any areas that are void of frosting. These go so quickly and they're so easy to make. Again, we're going to use our piping consistency icing to add dots to this cookie but we're not going to leave them as polka dots. We're going to take our scribe and starting at the top, gently slide it through the dot to make a heart. If the dots are still sitting up above the icing, just use your scribe and tap them down into the frost, into the icing, and then slide your scribe through again to make more hearts. And there we have it. 
Our last design is going to be a plaid. Begin by outlining and flooding the cookie in the flood consistency as we've done the others. Using our piping consistency in the deep purple, we will begin to draw lines across the cookie in a diagonal method. I'm starting off the sides of the cookie and bringing it all the way down to the opposite side. Once you have your lines, you can take your scribe and clean up any of the ends that have not settled into the icing. Then take your pink icing and do the same. Don't worry if your lines are not completely straight. You're going to be coming, uh, going across in the opposite direction with a different color of icing. So that will hide any mistakes you make at this step. Cleaning up the edges is always important when you're doing this type of design. Now we will take our white piping consistency icing and go across in an opposite direction in diagonal lines. and cleaning up the edges with your scribe. And just that quick, we have a beautiful plaid mini heart cookie. I wanted to show you a way to fix any mistakes that you might have. In the process of working on this cookie, I accidentally touched it with my finger. So with the end of my brush, I'm going to just take and press indentions into the crusted over icing. This cookie has dried just a little bit, just enough for the icing to crust over. So when I use the uh, paintbrush to make the indentions. They just simply uh, move into the surface and make a beautiful texture on the top of this cookie. And there you have it. The uh, mistake has been um, concealed and we have a beautiful cookie. So let's talk about packaging. I can package four of these mini cookies in a um, three inch by 11 inch uh, cello bag. These bags are available on Amazon and I've included the link below in the description. I've purchased half inch ribbon from the Dollar Tree or it is also available at Walmart to tie a beautiful bow at the top. We can also package the regular size cookies that we made earlier. With this set, I took um, the message cookie and then two of the feature cookies from our So Sweet set. I placed them in cello bags and sealed them and then I placed them on top of shred in a box with a pretty bow. This would make an excellent gift to give to anyone. Here I uh, packaged our heart with a Happy Valentine's Day stenciled cookie. This sends a sweet message to a grandparent or a loved one on Valentine's Day. Let's talk about cookie kits. 
A DIY cookie kit makes an excellent gift for an individual, a family, or even an entire class. Simply package plain, uniced cookies along with piping bags full of royal icing and some sprinkles in a beautiful box and gift it to your loved one or your friends. Sources for the boxes um, are available everywhere. Most of the dollar stores as well as the discount stores have these beautiful boxes at any time of the holiday season. So you can make them to give to anyone at any time of the year. Thank you for watching and I hope you enjoyed all of the gift giving ideas presented here today. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and share our social media posts on Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube. And we look forward to seeing you again at sweetsfromthesoul.com.